we all believe that youths are the focus. Whenever it is time for destruction, they are the most active. When it is time for rebuilding, they are the most active. Um, the goal is to build the capacity of youths in Bombali district. We are targeting 400 youths. And by the end of the project, we expect the 400 youths to employ at least 100 youths. Doing various activities. One, we build the capacity of their skills capacity, how to do business. Then after that, we'll register their organizations, make sure they formalize their organizations. Then after that, we set up the business for them and we mentor them for, some, for a period and ensure that they are strong in their business. We are training them. Some are doing basic business, some are in computing, some are in tailoring, some are in... Our focus is between 18 and 35. And not only 18 and 35, we also focus on those who do not go to school and those who are not in business and others who are in business but they are not in any big business. We are focusing on the medium and small scale businesses. We have 10% um, of the entire support to be people physically challenged people. And we have 60% and 40% of the entire beneficiaries, men, male youths. And then the rest are female youths. So we have a perfect mix of all the categories. This project is funded by UNDP. UNDP gave the funds to Kupi, and Kupi is implementing with partners SLIBA, which is Sierra Leone Indigenous Business Association. Uh, actually, what we do most with these youths, uh, we are engaged with youths in business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those who are already in business. Mm -hmm. So we are helping them to come up with their business ideas and to help them develop their business plan. They are disabled doing this program with us, but definitely we want to get new entrepreneurs, not business women or businessmen. And we are trying to create employment. We are not looking at them as the future of tomorrow, but we are looking at them as the future of today. They are building our future for tomorrow. So that is why we are focusing on the youths. If we strengthen the youths, we have a basic economic base of the youths that we can be assured of the progress in the future. After we have trained them how to do business, how to start a business, how to do a sustainable business, we are also encouraging them to add value into their businesses. Most of the population here, we have a young population and very few old people. And that is why we are focused, because there are many, we have too many youths. And if we can't help them now, then it will be a problem tomorrow. They are the most vulnerable as well because they are not in. They don't have work to do. They are not employed. The few that are employed are underemployed. So it is time for us to look at those who do not have the opportunity to go to school, who will find it difficult to compete in the job market. If we engage them and strengthen their economy, then we think we can contribute greatly to the nation's development.